Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Meteorologist Team Davidson, the weather pros, liveweatherblogs.com time for a weather outlook. And actually, we're looking at potential still severe weather. It didn't push this front, didn't push far enough south. Yes, it's cool, but not cold. And the dew points are still high, so it's humid. And there's going to be a lot of velocity in the atmosphere, helicity. So the chances of showers and thunderstorms with damaging winds, an isolated tornado, and hail will exist in the Roanoke Valley, Danville, Virginia Beach, and so forth. We take a look at that on the uh, Storm Prediction Center here, and you can see, and I'm going to go over the thing, the tornado outlook is only in this area, and it includes Roanoke. So I'm going to pull the cities up here, see Roanoke's in there, Danville, uh, Blacksburg, South Boston. These areas are in the potential for a isolated tornado because of the helicity. Winds and hail are both a possibility also. So... We move over to what we have now here on the future radar. You can see nothing really going on now, but this is going to pick up in intensity, and we're going to have isolated supercells and then before we try to get linear, and then it's just going to be a training effect of a lot, and I mean a lot of moisture coming up through here through Sunday into Sunday night, ending Monday, and it's going to... It's going to Definitely inc have a lot of rain. Uh, I'm going to show you the total accumulation as this moves along. And you're going to see areas down here. Roanoke. This is through Monday. This is spinning out right now. Anywhere from three to five, six inches in that area. This is a pretty good bullseye area, right along the Blue Ridge. And this is not surprising. This is where your orographic lift happens, where you have the moisture hit the top of the mountains and squeeze out that moisture. And when that happens, you get a lot of rain. And obviously, we're looking at a ton of rain, probably some flooding. So we have to be very careful on that aspect also. So then we look into Delaware Valley, which we'll get into some precipitation, about a half inch. Well, everybody needs some rain, especially with the uh, fire danger in these areas. So a ton of rain is expected over the next 24 to 48 uh, hours, maybe a little longer, as the storm moves through. So we have severe weather potential. We have flooding potential. Temperatures, we're going to look at them right now. Um... Not going to be crazy, but you're going to have enough temperature today to trigger a thunderstorm, 70 degrees. And what's going on is there's going to be a, lo a low pressure that's going to move through the area, and that's the majority of the problem. Then we're going to get the wedge for Sunday, and that's why we're going to get so much rain. Uh, the, you know, when it wedges here, it stays cool, so it'll be a cool rain, but it's way, way too much rain, and I think it's going to be a flooding issue, unfortunately. So we're going to take a look at the shear, and then we're going to take a look at what we're going to see on, let me see who pulls back, we're going too far, let's go into this afternoon, uh, let's see, right about there. So that's what we're going on right now, I'm going to, it's hard sometimes with that thing, you got to pull back on it, but uh, I just want to take a look at hodiographs and things like that. I, I like looking at these for the information that they provide. Lift and things of that nature. And yes, there's definitely low-level wind issues. Uh, there is a right turn on the hodiograph. We're looking at STP at 3.3, which is well in the potential level for tornadoes. It's severe weather and the ship level at around 2, so this could be an interesting afternoon, uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye on it as the afternoon progresses. Other than that, things seem to dry out for the week, and it will get warm by the end of the week. We're talking about areas in Virginia in the mid-80s and upper 70s to 80 in the Delaware Valley, so it's going to be pretty It's going to be pretty warm at the end of the week. We're going to be looking at good potential for that. Talk to you soon. Meteorologist Dean Davison. Thank you for watching and have a great day.